here we are with Danmachi season 4 episode 5 and yeah last episode Bell tried to make his way back to the others and didn't quite make it so far with the help of the mermaid and then we saw the moth monster starting a pass parade and all that shit to get the others killed and yeah we will see Haruhime's new skill now and see how crazy it will be but yeah if you like what you see leave a like subscribe or comment let me know what you think about this episode and I would say let's get to the episode Okay, here we go. She learns the skill from the book. Okay, so they don't know. <clears throat> and by chance it became something really strong. Yeah, she needs more. <clears throat> yep, yep. Be greedy. I mean, what do you what else do you want to make with the do with the book, right? Sell it? I mean, that could, I mean, they are worth a lot, right? <clears throat> I feel like this scene was a bit pointless, right? I mean, because we basically know that this happened from episode one, right? Maybe they just want to refresh your minds, which I think is kind of unneeded. Um... Or they just wanted to dive a bit deeper on the part that she's like, Haruhime doesn't, feels like she's not worth it, but Aisha is like, if you want to help your party, your, your guilt and everything, do it. Be greedy. It can help. It can't be bad, right? So, I mean, I guess it did a little bit right. So, I'm very interested to see what it is, right? What kind... I guess it's a support ability, I would imagine, right? That would fit her the best. I guess it's maybe this thing, say, uh, this thing from the intro. Whatever that is. Looks like a buff, I would guess. I don't think that she will get an attack spell, right? I mean, since it's random, it could be, right? But, I mean... It's anime. It all has, like, right? It's, it will be something fitting for her, by pure coincidence. <laughs> Here we go. Lots of crabs. Here she goes. The OST. Snow Crimson Light. Oh, Aisha. <laughs> Man, I love Aisha so much. She gets tails. How fitting. Demon of nine. Is she getting nine tails? So far, she has five. And her voice is so much deeper than normal. <clears throat> That's a long spell. Dang. Yeah, I miss her purple outfit. Aisha's. Looked really good on her. Huh? 
Oh, so it enhances basically her other spells, which is the level boost. <clears throat> oh, the more tails, the more sh the more often she can use it. <laughs> could she, could she recast the same spell on the same person multiple times? Five level boosts. <laughs> that would be crazy, dude. Imagine, dude, Bell with five level boosts, being level nine, destroying everything. <laughs> I guess that's not possible. Here we go, and we know Aisha with the level boost is crazy. Oh, come on, Aisha, let's go. <laughs> like a lawnmower. <laughs> Oh, here she goes. Oh, it exhausts her a lot, I guess. <clears throat> Shut the fuck up or we kill you. <laughs> no word to anyone. Better be grateful. Right? Should keep your mouth mouth shut, otherwise without it you would be dead. Until the moss hug comes. Is it moss hug or huge? I think it was hug, right? I don't know. Eating. Nom nom nom. All you can eat. <laughs> the fucking grin. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> what an asshole. <clears throat> oh my god, it becomes bigger. It's big brain. Galaxy brain. What the fuck, dude? And now it just destroys everything. And I guess Aisha can't do shit against it. Yeah, it pushes her away even with a level boost. <clears throat> Isn't she level 5 right now? I think... I think when Bell was level 3, she was level 4. No! Not Aisha! Get your weird dick thing away from her! Oh, she cut it off. Oh no, she didn't. Ah! We need healing. And she is, has a parasite. Oh my god, this motherfucker. I guess that's not effective anymore against him. He evolved too much. Yep. Damn, he has a cloth. <clears throat> and it breaks. Of course, when you need it the most, the weapons just break. So, I guess we really need Bell right now. Suddenly they seem so much weaker before they just went through the enemies like nothing and now they get pushed back. 
It feels like the level boost is already wearing off. <laughs> but they still have it. I mean, you can see it. Apparently, it's not enough. Mm hmm. Yeah, but Bell isn't around. Of course. Worst case scenario, right? <clears throat> yeah, it already wears off, maybe? Maybe not yet. Ow. Didn't pay attention. And it's done. Well. We need Bell right now. <clears throat> oh, they want to fight too. I mean, better do something, right? At least anything, if you want to survive at this point. <laughs> Act as a shield. <laughs> yes, if she could stop them. <laughs> Come on, where's Bell? Don't tell me they die. <clears throat> I would imagine Bell comes in and saves the day. Are they fighting with arrows? <laughs> We have no weapons, but we have arrows. Yeah, no one predicted a Mossack that controls or that uses other monsters and feeds on crystals and gets stronger and stronger and stronger. But I think she's not the same anymore, so she doesn't really want to do that anymore. <clears throat> I guess she keeps fighting, right? Because Belle also didn't left her behind. <clears throat> and they're like, good, let's all die together. <laughs> Okay, come on, Bell. Is she hearing Bell? You hear it? Ding, 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 ding. Bell is coming. Oh, he has his organ already. 
But where's the mermaid? Yep. Ding, ding, ding. You can hear it. <laughs> He nukes this place. The last time we heard the, the bell was when he was completely glowing, which he isn't now. He's like, what the fuck? He's still alive? Fire nuke! <laughs> I can't imagine that at some point Bell is so strong that he literally fires a nuke instead of bolt. <laughs> he could need some level boost, I would guess. Don't you worry, I do this. <laughs> Will we finish this fight in this episode? He is regrowing again. Yeah, he is pissed. You should be dead. But Bell is unfazed right now. <laughs> Also because the mermaid healed him. Here we go. Has like vibes from the first season when he fought the Minotaur, right? One versus one standoff against a monster in the dungeon. <coughs> but man, he really isn't using the Hestia blade anymore so far. <coughs> she would just be in the way. I think arrows wouldn't do much. He's winning. <clears throat> like in season one, yeah, he doesn't have a chance. But look, he's winning. I guess the, along the way he leveled up a little bit. I don't mean I, he can't because because he needs Hestia to do it. Okay, so he basically cleared his mind. Yeah, he had to get used to this, uh, used to it. Adjust his body. <clears throat> but he's not really damaging it, it seems like. <clears throat> yeah. When he went all out there and basically increased his speed and everything. <laughs> he sees the Matrix. Yeah, dude. <laughs> yeah, I, I guess maybe so. <laughs> With the big blade. <laughs> dude, that fight was crazy. Oh, whoa, what is this? This is new. <laughs> Boy. Oh, he cut it this time. Not fast enough, dude. <laughs> Cut off his arms like nothing. 
Oh, more Mihi regrowth, of course. Man, he can regrow fast. <clears throat> can maybe Haruhime? Oh, Hestia knife? Hestia knife. Here we go. I thought maybe Haruhime can get one like one like one last fight, uh, level boost up. Uh, out. Man, what is, is he infusing his blade with magic? He is. <laughs> <laughs> and the bell again. The name is program here. Or will this be? Let's go. Oh yeah, flame, flame <laughs> with, with a firebolt. <laughs> He's like, yeah, I'm out of here. This doesn't seem good. Fuck you! <laughs> oh! Argo Vesta? Yeah. One last attack. <laughs> he pulverized him. Can he regrow from that? I don't think so. And yeah, it stops the parasite. How convenient. <clears throat> but I have to say, it was cool, right? But it felt a bit... Oh, there's a mermaid. It felt... It felt a little bit... I love you. <laughs> uh, it felt a little bit anticlimactic at the end now. There's like one slash and done. And the end. Okay, that was the episode. Let me know what you thought about this episode. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, I feel like it was a good episode, right? Had a bit, had a, had some cool action and everything. Um, but I also feel like it was a bit anticlimactic, right? Because you see this moss hug and it trans, it evolves again, gets more nasty, bigger, and everything stronger, and beats Aisha with a level boost. And I'm, I have to say, I'm a bit disappointed by Haruhime's ability. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's a crazy ability that she now can, like, get five tails and cast her level boost five times at once. Um, what I'm disappointed with a bit about it is that <clears throat> um, when they got it, they seem like, oh, they push enemies back. They are super fast, super strong. But then, like, after the first wave, when the second wave came, it already seemed like the enemies pushed them back and... It basically felt like the level boost already wore off and was barely, or had barely any, any impact anymore. Maybe that's like a drawback. Maybe if she cast it five times at once, maybe it reduces the time it, it lasts. Because from some what someone's told me in the comments, it's supposed to be 15 minutes. And so maybe it's like split 15 divided by five, so three minutes per person maybe. And maybe it's also weaker. That's what it maybe feels like for me from this, what I, what I saw right here. Um, so that was a bit disappointing. <clears throat> and then... But I mean, it has to happen, right? Because otherwise they could have maybe pushed back all the enemies and then went five people on on the Mossack and just beat it, beat it, right? So, yeah, I mean, it has to happen, right? So that bell gets this big entry. Um, so maybe it is not as weak as I think it is, and maybe isn't like divided by the amount of times it gets cast on different people, uh, but maybe just for purposes that the Morsog uh, Mor is like a threat, and so that Bell can have his big entrance. And But then we get to the Bell part with the fight, and it's... I felt like the fights when he was like jumping around and slashing around was better than the final blow, basically, and I also think the first encounter we had with the Morsog 
when Bell got like flung around like crazy into the wall um, and all that shit. I think that was also better than what we had right here, right now, which is basically just like some still images, right? <clears throat> and then some scenes where Bell is like jumping around and slicing and dicing. And then we just have like this big final where he like Im imbues the blade with the fire. And then one slice, which didn't even really look spectacular. You just see the animation that he does something, that he swings, right? And then you just see the Mossack's back, how it like explodes basically, basically from the flames and then just, yeah, crumbles to pieces basically. So in that regard, I think it was a bit disappointing. For example, the firebolt in episode one at the end was better more hype more awesome than what we had now at the end of this episode i would say and people said if they do it right this episode could be really good would i say like awesome super hype would i say it was that not so much i i feel like it was it, it felt a bit lacking for me when it comes to like animation action cho uh, cho choreography and all that stuff um, it felt a bit lacking. It felt like there could have been a bit more, a bit more high, a bit more, more, a bit more quality, a little bit more, right? It, I don't know. It, like I said, it, I felt like it was a bit lacking. It could have been a bit better, I would guess, because people said so many times that this can be really good. And I feel like it didn't quite hit that spot that I would say, man, this was amazing. Was it still pretty good? Yes, it was. I mean, it still was pretty good how we jumped around and all. I just keep repeating myself again. But yeah, overall, I would say decent episode, not amazing or anything. It was good. Um, had some cool stuff, but like I said, could have been better in my opinion, I would say. But yeah, you can tell me if it met expectations, right? If you see this and... Yeah, let me know if you think this met expectations or not. I think from what I've heard, how people said that this could be really good. Nah, not to that. Not. I keep repeating myself, so I don't say it again. But yeah, if you like what you saw, leave a like, subscribe, or comment. Let me know what you think about this episode. And yeah, thanks for watching. Until next time. Bye-bye.